Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is KVC of Surya and in this video, you're going to learn how to create your first ever Java program, the stereotypical Hello World program. So generally, in, in, in the hundreds of programming languages in the world, before you start with any programming language, there's like the most simplest program that you need to write, okay? So this is, this is the one that's going to give you a little bit, uh, you know, insight into the programming language that you're getting into. So this could be the Hello World program in Python or Java or C++. So, but today we're gonna be writing the same uh, Hello World program in Java. So firstly, you need to head out, head to VS Code. So VS Code is a code editor. Uh, I suggest you install it right now. So go to VS Code and in VS Code, uh, before you do anything, the first thing you need, to, you need to do is install the JDK. So the JDK is the Java Development Kit and this, is I think I think I'm, I'm pretty sure this is different for VS Code, particularly for VS Code. So uh, check the description for a video that will uh, tell you how to download the JDK in VS Code, because without the JDK you can't really do Java programming because with the the, JD, the JDK contains all the um, methods and all the uh, ver uh, all the classes for Java programming. So after you download the JDK, then you need to go to the manage option over here and you need to go to command palette, okay? So in command palette, uh, search Java, create Java project. So click on Java, create Java project, uh, click on no build tools, and it's gonna ask you to select a location for the project. I already have a file called programming and uh, I'm gonna name my folder as hello world okay and wait so here yeah and i already downloaded my file and now i'm gonna enter a name for my project let's call it new java project so after i entered a name for my project uh, if you get a notification asking you if you trust the others, just click on yes, I trust the others. And now you're going to have your, um, a new, a new, a new window basically. So new, new window, click on SRC, which basically means source. So click on SRC and you have things like app.java and all of these things. So this is your, um, uh, new Java project file that you just created. Okay, so here you have SRC and in SRC you have app.java. So this is going to give you a basic hello world program, uh, but we're going to write that today. So right click on SRC and this is going to give you a couple of options. Click on new file and enter the name for your file. So since we're writing a hello world program, I'm going to name it as hello, hello world. And it is important that you add an extension called .java because if you don't, then it's going to treat it as a text file and not exactly as a Java file. Click on enter and you're going to have your first program. So it's, it's going to give you the basic structure once you uh, create your file. But but I don't, I want you to teach you how all that, all, what all those uh, fancy words actually mean. Not exactly fancy, but simple words, but what do they mean? Okay. So in your Hello World program, First thing you need to do is you need to declare, okay, the class. This is the, you're going to create a structure to write hello world. You can't just print hello world. Okay. Uh, in Python, you could do that. Sure. But in Java, it's, it's, it's quite different. So first thing you need to create a class and this is basically what you're going to do. You're going to click on public class, hello world. Okay. So now we created this class, right? I'm going to now tell you what all these words mean, okay? So we have public here. Public is an access specifier. So what does an access specifier mean? It means who's going to access your program. So if I, if I, could, name it, I could name it as private as well. And sometimes you need to name it as private. And you're going to learn that later on. But sometimes you need to name uh, it as private. But in this case, we're going to go with public. Because we want to, because this uh, class, we, we're going to want to access this, ca this class throughout the program. Because this class is going to contain something called the main method. 
So what's the main method? So the main method is where all the execution begins. Okay. So in the previous video, you learned about the Java compiler and interpreter, which, which basically compiles and interprets the program and executes the program. So all of the comp compilation and execution, it all begins in the main method. It's going to go in the main method. It's going to start executing everything in the main method, but it's not. So you're going to basically tell Java that you're going to con that you're going to contain the main method using this class. And the public here is really important because it's because you're going to need to access this main method throughout the program, right? Because that's the center of uh, of execution. So that's an access specifier, mainly meaning it just uh, defines the access of the access for the class. Then you're going to have uh, the keyword class. Now again, this is an important note. All the words which have a color, like this one, which basically like are highlighted, these are keywords. You can't change these words. These are predefined basically. So if I take this word class, this is a keyword because it's telling the compiler and the executor that I'm looking at that you're looking at a class here. You're not looking at a method, you're not looking at a uh, at a variable, you're looking at a class. And then you're going to have hello world. So you might have seen something. This hello world is the same as the name for the file that I gave here. And it has to be the same for the, uh, and like the name has to be the same for the name of the file and the name of the class. Because if you look at this hello world, you're going to be using them. You're going to, uh, this is the public class, right? You're going to be accessing it throughout the program. Only one class contains the main method. That, that is this class. This is the original class. And therefore, the name has to be exactly the same. Now, we learned about how the class works. We learned about the access base file. Now, we're going to be creating the main method. Again, this is where the execution begins. The execution begins in the main method. So, we're going to say public. Again, the access base file. Static. So, static is something that you learn later on because it's, it's, it's a little complex to explain in this short video. So, public, static. Just, just type static and we're going to have void. So void is the return data type, meaning it's a data type of data that we're going to return. Okay. So void and you're going to type main. So firstly, a method and a class is different. That's really important. Okay. A method is something which performs a particular action. A class stores these methods and variables and so on. So therefore, in methods, we, it, it is a rule to use these brackets. And then again, as usual, you have these parentheses. Notice again how public, static, void, main, how all of these things actually shine up, like are highlighted. This is because these, these are keywords. These are things that you can't change. These are predefined in the program. So main here, main is basically what I tell the compiler that we're talking about the main method um, so we create a basic structure in any program in Java, you can, you're going to need to have this, uh, class and this method because this is where the execution begins without the starting point for the execution. You can't really execute the entire program. Can you? So, you know, so this is the basic structure. You're going to first create this in any Java program. So now what you're going to do is as usual in any hello world program, you're going to print hello world. And to do this, you're going to use the print ln statement. So now uh, I use something that's so now this looks a the statement that I wrote here, print ln statement is green because it's a comment and we can understand it later. But we're basically going to talk about print ln statement. Okay. A print ln statement uh, is basically when you print something. Okay. So how do you print that something? You just type system dot out dot print ln and now we're gonna add these brackets these brackets that you use for functions you're gonna add similar brackets because if I just don't add these brackets and if I just say hello world it doesn't make any sense because now the program because now if I add anything else the program is gonna be like okay is this part of the program is this part of the program is this part of the program it is hard to decide if I create a function immediately after the system that under print ln statement, if I don't have these um, the, the the brackets, if I don't have these brackets, then how will the program decide what is the starting point and what is the ending point of the thing that I want to print? Okay, so that's why you're gonna create these 
brackets and you're gonna create these quotes so these quotes signify that it is a string as you can see over here it's a, it's a string so when I add these quotes it's gonna tell the compiler that we're talking about a string here and a string is basically a word or a, or a sentence a collection of characters basically and in my string I'm gonna basically type hello world hello world so that's it but we're not done so I'm not sure whether this is a necessity in every single Java program but what I found is you it is really useful to type string array args basically string uh, and you add these um, box type brackets and you put args and when you do that you're gonna get the run or debug options option and in VS Code you can you can if you want to debug the program this is a very simple program so I don't think we need to debug anything we just click on run and now we're gonna get hello world printed over here so there we go in this video you just learn how to write your first ever Java program so before we go I want you to keep experimenting okay so I want you to understand what each one of these highlighted words mean. I want you to write several programs, printing several kinds of things. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So like, share, subscribe, and turn the notifications on because we're going to be getting tons of other videos on Java. Thank you and have a great day.